Assalamu alaikum and Happy New Year. On the occasion of the Hijri New Year, let's talk about three lessons that we can learn from the Hijra of the Prophet ﷺ, which is when he migrated from Mecca to Medina. Lesson number one, change your environment. Sometimes the environment you're in is not a productive or conducive one to your goals. The Prophet ﷺ had to leave Mecca. They were being tortured, they were being prevented from practicing Islam freely, and they were even plotting to have the Prophet ﷺ murdered. So he had to leave Mecca in order to protect the message of Islam and allow it to blossom and flourish somewhere else. So this is the first lesson. You might be in an environment that isn't really productive. For example, maybe you're in a job that has a very toxic work culture. You can try to change this environment by trying to find another job. Or maybe you hang out with a group of friends who are not the best influence on you. So you can try to maybe change that and change the environment that you're in. Lesson number two, trusting Allah in difficult times. Sometimes we face hardship, it happens to all of us. Some days are better than others, some problems are bigger than others, some can get resolved in a day, some take months, some even take years to resolve. The Prophet ﷺ endured years and years of hardship. The Muslims endured all kinds of different torture that they were subjected to. And after nearly 13 years, of this struggle, they were finally able to migrate from Mecca to Medina and finally things became easier for the Muslims. Allah says with difficulty comes ease. So we have to put our trust and faith in Allah that ease is coming after a difficulty. And we have to remember that even the most beloved to him in the form of his prophets also faced hardship. Lesson number three, unity. When the Muslims immigrated, they basically left behind everything, their homes and all their possessions. When they arrived in Medina, people opened up their homes to them. They shared their homes, they shared their food, they helped them in any way that they could. It was the most beautiful form of unity, people coming together, taking care of each other, everyone looking out for each other. It was beautiful. And so we can learn from this. For example, if someone you know is coming out of town and needs maybe a couch to crash on, run to offer that to them. Try to be the one that runs and welcomes them into your home. And it doesn't have to be in your home. If you know someone who might need some assistance or someone you can show kindness to, go for it. Welcome people. So those are the three lessons from the Hijrah of the Prophet them. And now it's time to assign some homework. Just kidding. It's just a, a task or a reflection on the occasion of this Hijri New Year. Find something that you have a bad habit of doing, however big or small, and try to make a conscious effort to migrate away from this bad habit. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Assalamu alaikum.